All right. I'm itching to use my new weapons, of course. Asteroid field feels like a bad idea. Although I have a high evasion score, so maybe the asteroids won't be that much of a risk. Might as well experiment, I guess. It's also the, o the only ship nearby. Howdy. They have... They have one weapon. Alright, that's not too bad. They have a single weapon. Oh, they do have hacking. But they hacked my med bay for some reason? Which is, in which is interesting. Oh well, we'll keep an eye on their first shot coming my way. Ow. Alright. Dual lasers on their shield. Follow up with the heavy laser on the shield. There we go. That can start a fire. And then a beam weapon to carefully cut through. Oh no. I can probably do this. Come on. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no? Alright, I'll, I'll settle for drones. I was just gonna see if I could get four rooms at once. They're pretty much in trouble already. Yeah. Let's put the lasers on drones, we'll put the heavy laser on their other system, and shoot across their piloting. They'll be taking some hits. We're taking a little bit of hull damage. Uh, they are offering to surrender. Nope. Bye. Oh no. We got ourselves a breach. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 32 scrap. Right, I should just get out of here. Oh, the FTL has to... Oh! Right, the FTL doesn't charge properly if no one's there, right? I guess it, do I guess it does. Uh, let's visit the store. That's a safe place to jump to where we can finish our repairs. Without being too worried about it. Uh, something something store, close. Let's work on this situation first. I believe these guys don't have to breathe oxygen. Nope, he's, he's dying, so never mind. Let's get out of that system. We'll be fine. He's healing up. Everyone's doing okay. Oxygen is approaching 100%. Everyone's healthy. Power is back up. Let's visit our store. Drone control and shield. You bastards. <laughs> they, gave, they, sh they show me both at the same time. Both of the things I want. Because, yeah, I would love to have a uh, defensive drone. And I would have loved to have shields. Shields are apparently expensive. Didn't exactly see that one coming. Let's see. Having a basic shield seems like a good idea, but it's cost 125. I can sell a system repair drone, which I probably will, to buy shields. And that pretty much bankrupts me. I have a good number of jumps right now, so let's go for some fixing. There we go. We now have a shield system, which I think I will sacrifice a bit of evasion for just to get us a basic shield charged up. But uh, I'll be wanting to put that, get more power to fill up evasion again as soon as I can. It just seems reasonable to make sure that I'm good on shields too. All right, uh, asteroid field detected here, but hey, now we have a way of deflecting it, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried. But I kind of want to explore a little bit around here because the enemy's way back there and I haven't really been looking around very much. So maybe I shouldn't be jumping that far ahead this fast. Complex arrangement of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors floating abandoned in a space just the NG were not too long ago, but not longer. Or not here too long ago. Another store. That's not what I was hoping to see. All right. Exploring. Ooh. Federation sympathizers contact you as you arrive. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask uh, how we know about it. Take the schematic. It's all we can do to help. An anti-combat drone. What does that do? Stuns combat drones attacking your ship. That's very specific. <laughs> Unfortunately, you, I would need to have a combat uh, a drone bay for that, so that's not going to do us a lot of good. And I'm just shy of being able to buy more power. So for now, we'll travel. Pulsar is flooding this area with dangerous electromagnetic forces. Huh. We'll visit the asteroid first, I think. Let's try not to blow ourselves up too bad. Pirate ship is lying in wait inside the asteroid field. Blah, 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 the usual. People's shields are periodically going down. Ooh, intruders, but adorably, the intruders are NG. So, that's cute, I guess. We'll send the camera guy over. They'll have a little fight. 
Uh, did they shoot already? They probably just shot, huh? I didn't see what- I was got distracted by that guy and I didn't watch for their lasers when I probably should have been. Either way, we'll evade. Um... Dual lasers are ready, we'll go after their shields. Finish off their shields. There we go. Go for their weapons and shields if I can. Just- yep. And their FTL. Perfect. They're trying to power up their FTL. Whoops. That's not gonna happen. They're trying to surrender. Four jumps is not the worst, but I could do with more scrap, because I'm trying to upgrade my ship desperately right now. Our evasion's working out so so far so good. I don't know exactly how having cloaking helps you evade uh, asteroids, but I will accept that and not question it too hard. Right, I shouldn't have medbay powered on because I can put that into also into evasion. In fact, let's put everything into evasion. I'll power on oxygen after this. Uh, heavy laser on weapons. Make sure it stays off. We'll go after their oxygen next. They're down. When I, when I realized I was shooting their oxygen, I was my next thought was, Hey, uh, maybe we'll just wait for them to, to suffocate. But, uh, that no, they, they blew up. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Sweet. Let's get that power up. Right after I leave this system, because it's trying to kill me. Everyone back to your systems, and jump. Let's have a fun. Electromagnetic forces. I eat those for breakfast. It's just a, it's just random ion, right? Or maybe something that knocks out my shields, which I'm used to functioning with that anyway. Since it's go wild, uh, as a nearby pulsar is detected. While you're attempting to recalibrate the FTL uh, drive, a pirate sh sneaks up on your ship. The weapon's charging. Prepare for a fight. Uh, periodic waves, electro electromagnetic. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm really fucking up at basic language today. Uh, periodic waves of electromagnetic energy will disrupt your shields and drones. Yeah, I have no drones and I'm used to not having shields, so I'm not super concerned about that. Let's turn off med bay for starters. Yeah. Don't know if I want to turn oxygen off immediately. Alright. Cloaking past their shot. We're going after the shields now. Go up to their weapons. Just right. That uh, FTL's a good start. Uh, nope. No surrenders today. Sorry. Just gonna have to moiter you. Bye. We're scary. This ship's scary. 41 scrap. Thank you. Yeah, there goes our cameras, but otherwise we're fine. Yeah, this, uh, this is an, a scary, effective, uh, ship right now. Alright, so I go for the store, but then it's one... Two, three, four jumps to exit? Ah, I might be able to make it. I might not be able to make it. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. With chunks that big, it'd be like one, two, three. I don't I don't trust that. I have a bad sense for how long that distance is, so I'm not gonna try it right now. I'll try to save for a future store, I think. Uh, they want to give me a bribe. Nope. We attack pirates. It's fun that way. We get to obliterate them. Oh, we're still ioned everywhere. That's not good. That means my cloaking is still down, among other things. We'll just try to be ready, and I'll try to ion- I'll try to cloak as soon as I can. Alright, heavy laser on the shields. Oh, my cloak went up in time. Cool. Finish off their shields. Oh, not really, but I can try to follow that up. Oops. Let's try to aim that better. Oh, their shields recharged even though they're in that state. Interesting. Interesting. Unexpected, too. Shields... Sh oh, finish the shields. There we go. Nope, the shields are hard to finish off. Well, at least their beam's not getting through ours. Oop, oh, don't want to fire my beam at the wrong time, because their shields are back up. Heavy laser on the shields. Which are not staying down, unfortunately. We'll see if I can follow that up. There we go. There we go. Oops, misclicking again. Slightly more to the side. There we go. Wanna work on their weapons too. Oh, they want... They're trying to give us a better... Bri Is that a better bribe? I guess it has more missiles in it or something. The scrap didn't increase. Bye! Enjoy the afterlife or whatever the fuck happens. <laughs> Pew! Alright. I'm really shocked by how 
I've mostly been healthy so far. I'm in my third system, right? I was really worried that the ship was not going to last long just because it doesn't have a shield and it relies on skill or something, and I don't know if I trust myself to have that. <laughs> Let's see, oxygen still good. I, I, I double check periodically because I sometimes disable oxygen. I'm like, is it off again? I have to be worried about that kind of thing. You arrive near a small fleet of NG ships, a single decryption and translation. A <gasps> hiccups, why? A simple tra uh, decryption and translation of their comm frequency tells you that they are having frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. Uh, they need help? Slightly shocked at your question, the leader quickly responds, declined offer with apologetic gratitude, topic of discussion, private matter, no concern to Federation. Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade power to finish off my engine upgrades. It's tempting to go further into engines, which would cost me 85 overall, which I can afford, but I might find a store soon. So I'm a little thinking, I'm kind of thinking of holding off on that. Could also go for power for shields. Where's my shield system, by the way? You should probably be- I should probably put you on shields instead of cloaking. Yeah, shields is a specialization. Yeah, let's put you on shields. That's actually a specialization, so it's better to put you there than on a- than on cloaking right now. It, uh, it was smart enough to redirect the power from shields to cloaking. Nice. Alright. So it'd be 50 to upgrade the shields to a second row. And then it'd be 50 to get the actual power for it, which is a, which is a lot. I'd rather save my currency for now. Because, yeah, I do have to worry about whether or not uh, I have to work, pay for repairs later, and I would like to have a drone section at some point. Ooh! Our weapons character got promoted. We'll check that in a moment. NG are waiting at the beacon, and their weapons are online! They explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against... Wait, they explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile actions against, uh, actions against the... NG, multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference is aboard your vessel. What? They insist they, that they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Uh, help let us try to purge the code? Wiping your engine core and shields proves useless. Eventually, the tra you trap the virus in the weapon system to purge it, but before you do, the NG grows restless and attacks. Wait, what? Oh no, our systems are wiped out. These guys are assholes. So we, we tried to specifically, uh, we, we specifically tried to, uh, yeah, we totally weakened our ship in an attempt to solve the problem and they attacked us anyway while it's still in progress. And now I have to wait for, oh no, it's not even listed as ion damage. It's just actual damage that I'm just stuck with. All right, well, I guess we'll power on the med bay. <laughs> and, until that stuff comes back online, I'm just screwed and won't have that, those kinds of systems. Heavy laser on their shields. Cloaking. Oh no, we missed. Uh, the shields are down for now. Let's try to make proper adva take adv advantage of that. Try to finish off their shields in a way that takes out their drones. There we go. Shields are down. Finish off their shields again. Make sure they don't come back online. Then go for their weapons. There we go. Well, they brought that upon themselves. 42 scrap. With the ship destroyed, you detect that the virus has abandoned your ship and disappeared somewhere within the systems of the wreckage. It will likely infect whatever NG ship passes next, but your mission is too vital to risk reinfection by stopping it. I mean, I'm not about to, I'm not about to just, like, suicide because of them. Alright, power ships are- our, uh, engines are back up to full. That's worth something. Ew, we are under pursuit. Let's get to the exit. Oh, I can go here first. We have just enough time to go two places. You come across a large trade station, however, as soon as you approach, a warning goes off to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation Sympathizer. All who oppose the Rebels will be punished. Search among the stores to see who it will sell to you. I'll try it. You find a single store that responds to your hails. Don't open any wideband cha channels. We'll sell to you, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Oh cool, I got a store anyway. And they're selling a drone control with a combat drone? Crew teleporter backup battery. Backup battery is tempting because it gives you bonus power for 30 seconds, and apparently it's a subsystem, which means that it doesn't require power of any kind. Uh, drone control plus backup battery would cost me 120, which I can afford, technically. I'm low on jumps too, but that's those are cheap. 
Augmentations here. Automatic reloader. Cooldown between weapon shots is per 10%. Fire, we already have that one. We already have both of those. The anti-drone is tempting to sell because of how weird it is. I do want drone control. I, I'm going to go for both these things. There we go. We'll get rid of the... We'll get rid of our anti-drone, I think. Um... Uh, I mean, it, it does make sense to equip, right? I guess I could keep it around. Yeah, it makes sense to keep around. Just to, for the specific situation where we need that problem fixed. Otherwise, we're going to want to save up to buy more power so I can deal with uh, being able to turn on my drone system properly. Uh, let's buy some jump. Uh, if I fix all that I use 8, that'll leave me with 13. That's enough for four jumps. That's agreeable. I'm happy with that. Cool. Alright. So now we have this backup battery. So it gives me two power for 30 seconds. Ooh. That gives me 30 seconds of turned on drone, for example, if that's what I want. Or... I was gonna say 30 seconds of cloaking, but if you turn on the cloaking, it, it takes that power away regardless. You don't get to, you don't get to have it back. We can find uses for it. But yeah, I want more power regardless. I don't have a new crew member I'm forgetting, right? No, everyone's in everyone's in their positions. I haven't missed anyone. Alright. Nice little surprise surprise store, pretty much selling exactly what I'd want. You arrived at the long range beacon when the FTL drives yeah, the usual. Oh. A well known slave trader hails you and offers laborers. And like usual, basically every time I ever encounter a slave trader. I seem to never actually have a currency for slave trading. But hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Um, I can still tag them. That's always fun, right? They give me a chance to test out my new drone. Howdy, folks. I'm gonna get some bonus power to activate a combat drone because I feel like it. I shouldn't have done that. I really should have taken, tried to take out his shields first, huh? Well, maybe it'll help me take out his drone in time. Maybe it'll power down his shields and make, give me access to his shield system directly. See, heavy laser on his shields. It's about time for a cloak. Their shields are super down right now. Oh yeah, they are dying. I, well, yes, I will accept your free crew member. Yeah, they went down fast. This ship's getting kind of scary. Alright, now we have an NG, which is good news. Let's see, how is our friend doing on shields? Kozar has zero proficiency with shields. So maybe I should set the NG over to the shield system then. Because it's someone who's good at repairs. And our, and Kozar can go back to cloaking. Just to keep it powered. They provide power to cloaking and they... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Just make sure they're in a system where that requires power so we can keep that powered up. But it's good to have somebody who's good at repairs be on our shields. Uh, I would sp I would potentially switch them with Mange, but ma but they're already getting Mange is already getting some engine experience, so having a fast repair on engines might not be worth it right now. I am happy that our weapons person's already upgraded. That was fast. That mean that means that we have 15% faster weapon recharge rate. I feel like I've been noticing that because it feels like we do have very available weapons. All right. Now we have to visit the abandoned sector. We'll see how this goes. The sector's been largely abandoned since a series of battles decimating the local uh, population. The unusual alien race is reportedly scavenging the area. You'd best be on guard. Oh no! Is the are the weird are the weird knifey crystally people going to be around here? I probably could use some scraps so that I can upgrade my shields. Then I'm a little worried about that. We have a complicated ship. Yep, those are the weird knife people. You immediately do a short-range scan after arriving in the beacon. It appears that to be coming from a small civilian vessel under attack by a Lanius ship. Not all, La not all Lanius are content with simply scavenging the wrecks of previous battles. And we're gonna fight them. Look at the creepy little stabby monsters. Alright, they have a clone bay, but not much else interesting going on. You move to intercept the ship, detecting a greater threat. The Lanius prepare to fight. So they just don't breathe oxygen, as shown by the fact that they don't have any oxygen systems on their ship. Which makes them bad for invading, I'm sure. If you want to try to uh, go for invasion combat. Let's go for those shields. 
Get ready with this cloaking. Here we go. Wow, bad. Some bad accuracy there. Ah, I should have paused it and aimed that better. I, I messed up pretty badly with that, uh... Messed up pretty badly with that shot. There we go. Come on! Yes! Syst weapon systems are damaged. They are firing debris at me. That's just rude, honestly. Alright. I feel like we got- I feel like we don't need to use the drone power right now. I don't know why I'm being weirdly defensive about using drones right now. There we go. Sh those shields are gonna stay down for a little longer. Okay, maybe not as long as I was hoping, but hey, they're on fire. That's always fun. Are they gonna hit me? Oh, a little bit. We did- we took one whole damage. Take their weapons down and that'll fix that. Can't exactly destroy their life support, can we? <laughs> They have a clone bay and they don't need oxygen. Alright, well, he's out of the way. Wait. Ooh, defense drone Mark II. Lanius craft breaks apart, you hasten to contact with the civilian ship. Oh, they also gave us 20 scraps, so we got 60 scrap from that run. That's interesting to me. Because I'd probably be happy to have a defense drone instead of an anti-drone. Oh, but it requires 3 power. That's going to require some expensive upgrades. But it shoots down incoming attacks. That's fantastic. That means we have one drone that shoots at incoming attacks, and then we have a high evasion to avoid attacks. Like, those two things combining with reduced damage to ship parts means that we could be surprisingly defensible even without a super high shield. But the drone power is tough. Drone power can be tough. I'm gonna upgrade the maximum at the very least. Because now at least we can have three? So if I want to reroute power, I can turn on the battery. Yeah. What I could do at the beginning of a fight is I could cloak. And then after the cloak's coming off, I can turn off oxygen, turn on the battery, turn on the defense drone, because that's three power, and that would help intercept after, uh, attacks coming after the initial cloak. I believe. Dangerous electromagnetic forces! We're not much of a shield character, so I still feel like that's good for... That's, that, I feel like that's more disruptive to our opponents than us right now. It's another one of these dudes. And they have a shield. It appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, although it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted! <laughs> Lanny's system that has been working on it at, at, at it moves in to intercept you, totally oblivious to the threat of EM pulses. Why are all my opponents oblivious to all threats? That seems like a weird issue they have. Anyway, getting ready to cloak. Okay, heavy heavy laser go for shields. Here comes the cloak. Lasers on shields again. Alright, follow that up with cross laser. There we go. Keep their shields down for a little longer. I, I love how fast my weapons restore. It's fantastic. There we go. They're trying to jump. They're not going to survive this though. There we go. I look an offer. Whoops. What did I do? Oh, I'm sorry. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Oh no. What will I do with this 47 scrap? Ooh, a store. Right next to Distress, distress, uh, distress Beacon helping me make more money before store. These are all good things. Distress calls a small research station. Appears to be a small laboratory fire. Got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression is not responding, and apparently the fact that I have a fire suppression system does not help me fix this problem. You can't, like, attach to them and suppress through your airlock. Like, yeah, I, I understand that. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, that it, there's no reason that why that would work. But, uh, it's still funny to have a fire suppression problem when I got a fire suppression system. Uh, even though, of course, it wouldn't f fix that problem. We can try to talk. Hey! Whoa! We got a blady bastard. All right. You pull up alongside the station to cut uh, and cut through their hole. You're able to rescue a few survivors, but many are lost. One of the survivors offers to join your crew to offload the re and you offload the rest of the nearby station. We we got a spike man. I have no idea what he does. <laughs> uh, drains oxygen from rooms. Slow movement, but mo but no damage from lack of oxygen. Um. These anaerobics. Uh, these anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. Dr. Jones. Yes, great. So he has no special skills, but he's immune to losing oxygen. But he, and he'll drain the oxygen from whatever room he's in, just all the time, I guess. 
Probably don't want to have him in the same chamber as a friend. Should I just have him ironically powering the oxygen system? It's too bad that I don't think... I don't think there's a way to, uh... Ah, shit. Yeah, he just drains all oxygen from that room. Let's see. Is my oxygen gonna stop draining? Is it... It seems to be frozen at 92, so I think it stopped draining at least. At least there's that. What room would I, would I want to put him in that I potentially... Yeah, let's put him on doors. <laughs> That's a dead end on the ship. That way he can help my doors be stronger when it's time to deal with invasions. But it'll hopefully not be a problem for, uh... Constantly murdering everyone in my ship with his... Power draining abilities. That's my logic anyway. Don't wear it out. Alright. Mr. Dr. Jones, please don't get us all killed. We have a big crew all of a sudden. We have seven people. Damn, okay, sure, sure. Uh, this, this is a ship and it connects to the store? That's kind of what I want to hear. I'm gonna orbit around the store a lot, but try to avoid actually going into it until I need to. Uh, you pick up a Lanius, villa, uh, an Lanius vessel drifting in the sector. There is no damage to the hull and appears to be powered down. Scan for life forms? After you scan the vessel, the scan frequencies awaken the Lanius crew from hibernation. They're hungry for raw materials. Oh, why can't we just get along? Why has it gotta be this way? It just, it just largely seems unnecessary. Oh, shit, I misclicked. Trying to go for the shields. All right, watching their weapon charge. Shields are down. Ooh, and their weapons are in range, cool. That's good. I hear what you're saying with the offer and whatnot, but nah. <laughs> oh, cloak. Did that just in time, I think. Almost forgot about the, the cloak for a minute there. Let's get all three of these systems again. There we go. And goodbye when laser charges right now. 41 scrap. That's a lot of scrap. Okie dokie. I could buy more power right now. But we're really healthy. And I kind of just want to keep hopping around the store for a bit. Because when if I visit the store with a ton of money, we might have we might get a really cool opportunity. Intruders on board! I'll be under uh image on uh, of some weak and hungry humans comes into your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half our engines and leave us to die. I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. Why couldn't you just ask for help instead of trying to murder us in, in our faces? Maybe we could have like helped you or something. Dick. Alright, well these guys have low hit points, so I don't want them fighting my energy people. So let's ha let's go in with, uh... Do we have a human? Two humans and, a and one of those metal bastards, so to speak. Oops. Oh, but he's on door duty. Uh, we'll send an NG in then. And... Let's see. Did they already power down my med bay with what they just did? There, the med bay will help keep us he uh, healed while we fight them. They did invade the worst room to invade, because it's the room where I constantly heal while I'm in it. <laughs> as long as I don't let them actually damage it, which is no longer happening, then we should be safe. Yeah, everyone's health bars are staying nice and full. Reinforced doors means no one can leave, and med bay means my characters aren't gonna die, so we win. Alright. This is what you get for not using a distress signal, assholes. Or, you know, asking for help when you got here. Oh well. Back to your posts. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. It's just the loss of three human lives. Let's not dwell on it too hard. Alright, let's visit the store before I have to leave. Oh, ooh. You can get Fleshy and Logan Johnson and Willow. You can get Hacking, Clone Bay, Crew Teleporter. I'm afraid of teleporters, honestly. I just don't like the idea of sending crew away because I'm afraid they'll die on me. Clone Bay fixes that problem, obviously. And, uh, yeah. Automatic the clone's dead crew with skill penalty. Taking advantage of micro-cloning crew heals partially every jump. Clone Bay c goes great with crew teleporter, I believe. Assuming that you can still clone people who die on other ships, like, that's how you deal with the fact that you're putting your people at risk all the time, but I just don't... I don't... It feels... People just feel like they're hard to replace. <laughs> I don't want... I don't like risking my crew members. 
And hacking is... I don't think I need to... I think that I should focus on improving my current systems rather than adding yet another one. It might be a subsystem, though. I don't know. And it requires a drone part. I already have drones, too. Yeah, I think I should focus on my existing systems over any of those things. The anti-drone. Well, I don't have room for anything else at this point. I like defense and combat more than anti-drone, so I think I'm gonna sell you. Could buy another crew member. I believe we'd be at maximum after, like, one more purchase. Ooh. Plus seven evasion while piloting. Our current pilot doesn't have a bonus, do they? How's that bonus doing? Oh, they're almost there, though. They're getting there very soon. They're gonna have plus seven. So maybe it's not really worth it. The main thing would just be to have another position to... Another crew member to help us. And that is tempting. Having a very full crew could help me when we get invaded in the during the uh, big final boss fight. Let's see, I can yep, I can get exactly one more crew member. I would love to get an NG. Oops. Yeah, none of these options are NG. This there, there's a rock man which has very, they're very hard to kill, which is also welcome. But I would love to have a repair character around. Uh, I think I'll get Logan Johnson. I'll settle. I'll settle. Fix up our ship. Otherwise, I think I'm happy with what we have right now. Alright, Logan. Let's put you... Where would I want to put you? Let's see, our other system you could go on. No piloting is manned. Yeah, all three of our systems are manned here. Oh, I can put you on drones to repair drones. That makes sense. It's also a nice... Cent it's a sort of central position to the ship, too. So I don't think I have to worry so much about you getting being too far away from some of the invasion locations. All right, well, surprisingly, we already have the most populated crew I've ever had. That's interesting. When they invade me, they'll probably be in trouble. It's also the most diverse crew I've ever had. No Mantis this time around, though. All right, I think I'll go ahead and upgrade some power then. Oops. There we go. So now we have enough power to just throw them into drone if I need to, or into engines and stuff and stuff like that uh, Can I then upgrade engines again? That'll cost me 60. So no, we're far. We're a bit far off from that still Nothing else is a big priority yet. Yeah, it's time to save again We're good though. Oh look another store shit <laughs> If I knew there was another store right there, I would have checked that next And I ha basically have to go there next to shit shit shit. <laughs> I Didn't expect a store next to a store. Uh, hey look! It's, uh, Junpeg. 20% faster charging on weapons. Not bad. But bad at repairs makes me not like that race very much on my ships. Don't really want any of those- ooh, mind control. Why must you tempt me with such fascinating tools? I can't afford mind control though, so that's kind of a bummer. Not unless I want to sell things, which I also don't really want to do. Mind control, I- yeah, even if I sold titanium, I wouldn't get it. I don't really want to sell titanium either. Ah, uh, might get the opportunity later. For now, I'm just gonna buy some more, buy a few more jumps just to be ready for later, and we'll start heading towards the exit.